Hi, this is Rob with Precision Zone. I'm going to be going over how to connect a Magnatech Series 1 drive to this test cart. So before we get started, we're always going to check the DC bus to make sure that the drive has been discharged. So we'll check between the positive and negative side of the DC bus. We're not showing any reading, so that's great. If we were seeing anything more than one volt, I would wait a little bit longer to make sure that it comes under one volt. Before we start hooking up any power wires, we want to make sure that the power to the test cart has been turned off just so we don't have any accidents. So the first thing that we're going to go ahead and hook up is the RS and T power wires. Now there's these protective covers that go over the leads and we're going to go ahead and pull those back and we encourage you to put them back on after you disconnect the drive. This cart was designed to only work with the lid closed, but if you were to take out a drive and then close the lid and power it on, these leads could short, causing damage to the cart. So whenever you're done, go ahead and slide these over, protecting the leads. We'll go ahead and hook up RST. Brown is going to R, or in this case, L1. Gray is going to L2 and black is going to L3. And we'll go ahead and place the ground. And so on one note, don't take the tools that you are using and put them inside the drive area because you don't want to accidentally damage the control board that's down there. Well, now that that's hooked up, we'll go ahead and retrieve our feedback connector. And they're clearly labeled saying Series 1 110 VAC. This is a 50 pin Honda connector with the keyway. So make sure that that lines up. And the connection's down here on the control board. And I'm gonna make a positive click when it engages. So go ahead and loosen up the connections here. And once that's fully engaged, go ahead and tighten these down. So next we're going to go ahead and hook up the X10, 18, 19, and 20 pins. These 8, 9, 10, 18, 19, and 20 are labeled here on the control board. So just go ahead and match those up. And the wires going from the input card to the control board need to stay in there. Okay, now that the feedback cable is all hooked up, go ahead and tuck the wires out of the way. And you're gonna go ahead and remove the digital operator. So that way you can use the one on the control panel. Okay, well now that all the connections are hooked up, let's go ahead and close the lid. And now you're ready to run a test on this drive. If you have any questions on how to do this, you can always reach us at precisionzone.com. And make sure you check the DC bus after you're done performing a test before you go disconnecting any of the power wires. You don't want to get a unnecessary electrical shock. Well, I hope this video was informative. Thanks for watching.